fucked yeah, up. Yeah, no, nah, it gotta be a balance. It has to be. It has to be a balance. Yeah, you keep telling me no. Yeah, but yeah, let's get into this last shit so we can get out of here. Um, so there's this list going around. Fuck that. <laughs> Both of them. I think this shit, it's like four now. So now, oh, really? so it went from um, the dinner. So the let's, date. let's let's start it from the beginning. So there's a video going around. This chick saying that you know, um, she was she was on a date with some like foreign dude, and um, he tried to take her to Cheesecake Factory, and she was saying that she too good for that shit. Whoop. whoop. It was like a nine-minute video. Mm-hmm. He ended up taking her back home. And then a TikTok hat came out of a woman saying, like, yo, I'm not going to Cheesecake Factory. And then, like, it's beneath me. And then there was another woman that um, they had went on a date. And she ordered, like, four trays of oysters. That's crazy. You know what I mean? Like, who the fuck eats four trays of oysters at once? She did. And she did that shit on video. Well, she ordered like four trays of oysters and the nigga was like, yo, I'm going to pay for your drinks like I told you. But And then she ordered mad food like after the oysters. So That's he was like, yo, I'm going I'm to pay for the drinks and then I'm going to. You didn't tell. He just slid. Yeah, he went in the bathroom and texted. Like he slid. He told he was going to the bathroom and then slid. So then there was a um, a list that had came out and it was mm-hmm. like um, all the places that a woman will not go on a date. That, I don't think that's what stemmed that list though. Mm-mm. Well, it, it was the so, cheesecake factory. So the no, it, yeah, it wasn't the the oyster shit, but yeah, all yeah. of that shit kind of happened oh, yeah, yeah. A, like along the same week, Sorry, like along the timeline. Yeah, I was I was kind of long winded. So it was a, a, around like the same timeline, but the cheesecake factory shit popped up, and then um, so of course you know the list had came out of uh, <laughs> all the places that women. Won't go on a date. Some I thought this shit was funny because I thought the list I, was a troll list. I thought somebody no, trolling I think just. That bitch was serious. I don't think this. I personally don't think that shit was serious. But I also don't think ninety eight percent of the shit that touches the internet is serious. Even shit that seems serious. You do have There's a, a lot. You do have. You, you like do. I feel like it's content over everything. Even like the three videos that led up to it about the woman not going to Cheesecake Factory, the oysters. I think all that shit is staged. I, they were staged. I think she everything on the it. internet is staged. Okay, but. The the video or the not the video the list that the man had like don't date like African American born women like <laughs> yeah no I was going I was going to get to that I was going to get to that too I was going to get to that too that was trolling I was going to get to that too um, there was some seriousness in that women's list yeah there was definitely some nah of, of course you got to throw some troll in there with it to make it not seem but most of that list was serious yeah I, <laughs> I do believe that like so here's my thing about these like lists or first dates in general. You guys don't know each other yet. You you know, you may have talked a time, or let's just say between one and three times, and then decide to go on a date. Mm-hmm. Nothing in those three conversations should make you think that whatever this person does for a living without knowing you, that this man should be taking you on a first date when he does not even know if he's going to like you in person or not. <laughs> that this person should spend that type of money on a first date. I don't give a yeah. fuck how much money you have. You are not entitled to, to then, no, you're definitely not. You it's, don't know them. You're not. Th- that's fucking crazy. It's just the, it's the vibes. Yeah, that's I really crazy. just feel like what I do for first dates. What I used to do is like whatever I felt like doing. I'm just yeah. gonna invite you to come do it. The first date is not. Or, no, I say that. But I would plan some shit. I'm not against. Yeah, planning like some shit. I'm a. Yeah, plan it. That's just, dope. I mean, I'm saying. So I got what you're not about to do before we go on the first date. You're not about to give me a list of places that you, of things that we're not about to do or yeah. about to go. Now, because right, you know, it took the fun out of every fucking yeah. thing. Mm-hmm. Now I can see. All right, I can see not wanting to go somewhere because you don't like their food. Right. Not completely because you feel like yeah, it's beneath you. But I've been to like expensive restaurants and like nine out of ten of them shits, the food not worth the price. What is really beneath people though? No, that's like, what, no, I'm just, but it's. Because everything is for the people gram. People say restaurant. No, no, okay. Everything is everything is for the gram now. Like or, you say, certain shit, restaurants media. are beneath you, but nigga, you you grocery shop at Walmart. Yeah, but mm, what a lot of motherfuckers don't understand like, is like, there's only like five like uh, companies that own like all these hundreds of fucking chains of different restaurants. Facts. And I ain't gonna front. Applebee's bourbon chicken is better than a lot of these motherfucking upper echelon goddamn restaurants. Are you gonna be pushing it? I'm not I'm pushing to it. Say the Applebee's you have. <laughs> Yeah, you pushing it. You pushing it. I would definitely. I like and it's just because I don't. Again, tacos. I just don't like Applebee's their food. Nah. Okay, Pam. I the wonton tacos. Wonton tacos. Wonton tacos. I'll do they their slap. appetizers. No, but that's what I'm saying. But, but what I'm saying is, <laughs> and and that's bottom. That's like that's not even the best shit on their menu. That's liquor what I'm goes saying. the same. Anywhere. But what I'm saying is, 
that shit is better than a lot of the upper echelon. Re- they I'm, don't season their shit for I'm real. I'm telling you. Like, if you don't really know go if to it's these. It's weird for me, but first dates, I don't want to go eat. Like, I, I, I want to so, eat a veggie. I'm, I'm with you. Like, and the I reason why I'm on the first date, date. date. like, wait, I don't want to go wait, eat with you. So, I don't want to go to Cheesecake Factory. I don't want to go to eat, and I don't want to go to the movies. No, I want to go somewhere. No, but look, I want to go to Somewhere where we going to talk. Where we going to engage. Yes. Somewhere we going to engage in conversation. So, there's not going to be any food? No, I'm not. Pam. No, it, if you nobody says that. You greedy Pam. motherfucker. He was a greedy Pack motherfucker. Okay. We gonna, but no, we gonna eat. Snack. What she's oh, saying is, take her somewhere that she might enjoy, and like you can snack there. Like, mm-hmm. oh for sure. Some yeah. of the best dates is probably like simple shit, like Top yeah. Golf or some shit like that. And yeah. then like they have food at Top Golf. Happy mm-hmm. hours so are really great. Food. First date. Yeah, Happy hours is. fire. Happy That's hours are really great. And you go in in the middle of the day, so it's no crazy expectations. Like. Now I'm saying you still got time to go home and do what you want to do if you need yeah. to, or if the vibe is right, we still got time to we kick it for kick the rest it, of the and, yeah. then we, and then we can go get dinner because now we yeah. we hungry. We've been we done been together a couple hours and then boom boom boom. So like, oh no, man, just so I, people that fucking like you. I get, yeah. I, I, and I'm yeah. okay. You know what I'm saying? If I'm having a conversation with a woman, she tells me something like that. Like on first dates, I don't really like going to restaurants or going out to eat is the main yeah. thing. Like cool, we're having a conversation, so I know kind of what to expect, what to plan, right. what to do. That's yeah. conversation. But you give me a list of. 15, 20 things that you don't do on dates. Like, you just suck the fun out of it before you suck yeah. the fun out of me. I'm telling and you. The only thing that was on the list, like, everything that was on that list is, like, what people would consider cheap shit. But I'm telling no, you, if you one, of them, one of them, she said bowling, and I had yeah, so that bitch much wrong fun. Bowling is bowling. fun as yeah. fuck. Like, Listen, I'm telling you now, if you were to so take I'm going to run through it quick. Before you invite her bowling, fellas, make sure she don't have nails on. So the list was this. I bowl with my nails on. So the list was I this. I get busy. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just, for, just for context, the list was Cheesecake Factory, Applebee's, Chili's, Chipotle, Olive Garden, The Movies, Your House, Any Fast Food Chain, Buffalo Wild Wings, Wingstop, Red Lobster, Buffet, I hop Denny's, the gym, church. I'm not going to fucking church date anyway. Um, Starbucks, coffee dates. Coffee dates are fire. You out your fucking mind. I was going to say, I love a good coffee date. Mm-hmm. Um, ice cream like dates, coffee. also fire. Love ice cream dates are definitely fire. Family fire. functions. It's my family Ooh. turn the fuck up. If I invite you to the function. If I invite you to the family if function of the first joint. You locked it. You locked. I like you. I fuck with you for yeah. real. Like, heavy, yeah. bitch. I was just saying, like, because this joint that I dealt with like, that I never invited to the fuck. What? Like, <laughs> fuck is you talk about? It's some joint that I like. I was kicking it with you for a minute. And my you family never didn't got... have functions. So I mean, my yeah. like my homeboy functions. If I invite you around my niggas the first time, like, I fuck with you. Like, yeah, because it's gonna even... be joints there. So like, I invited you with me, and they know that we coming together. Like, I'm bringing sand to the beach. Yeah, I'm saying even with like the cheap food. If somebody was to be like, yo, I got all your favorite shit from these fucking fast food restaurants, bitch, I fucking love you. I'm sorry. Like, even if it is. She said no fast. And don't get me wrong. I, yeah, a lot no of those places on there. Be a lot of those places on there, I just don't like their food. Yeah. So I understand. Like, Hold on, but I agree so with that her on the see. ice cream. Like, my first day, I wouldn't. You got to know. Yeah, because yeah, you might not like those. I might not like those. I don't want it first day. Like, first day, you got to know me because I'm like, we're going to be afterwards. So, I mean, you know, that's what I'm saying. If, if like you have a list of restaurants you won't go to because you don't like the food, that's different. But right. if you go, if you saying you don't want to go there because it's beneath you, like that shit, that's what. Yeah, that's just my favorite. Cause one thing, just, yo, the crazy shit. shit didn't Russell uh, Wilson just that's rent out a Waffle House? Like he just bought Waffle House for a couple you, hours to take Sierra there, like, like a week ago. You know, Sierra was like, that's one of her favorite places. She I mean, was like, she's a bitch from Atlanta. What do you expect? The rest of her life. That's what I'm saying. That nigga's a millionaire. Yeah. Biggest Waffle robbery in, in American Waffle history. Waffle if a nigga takes me on the first date at Waffle House, I love you. I love you, nigga. Because I need a smother covered in cat that is. <laughs> Listen, no, but here's what's gonna happen. I if I take you to my first date, my shit. If my first date leaves the Waffle House, I need. I need. I mean, my shit dies too. If my first date leaves the Waffle House, that means we was out. We was getting drunk yeah, before yeah, we got yeah, there. So we had a good ass motherfucking time already. Yeah, and then all right, the night is already set. The last five, and I'm planning on eating some pussy after I take you to Waffle House. That's a fact. You're not, last, nobody goes yes. home after Waffle House. Nah. <laughs> Something's no. happening. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Something, something's happening. I mean, after. you might go home, but it's because you go I'm home. I'm leaving in your t shirt the next day. <laughs> so, yeah, something <laughs> happened after Waffle House. <laughs> so, all right, the last few is um, somewhere that might require a long drive, bowling, nightclubs, a hookah bar, a bar just for drinks, Waffle House. Somewhere that might require a long sporting, drive. What is a long drive? Let me get the last three out. Drive. Let me get the last three out. Uh, sporting events, mom and pop restaurants, and food trucks. I gotta go. Food? Them that, last drinks that girl's is going all nowhere. Fire. I would, sh- okay, you stay home, honey. We're not going nowhere. I'm done with you. You suck the fun out of the dating game before yeah. you suck the fun yeah. out of me. So where the fuck you want to go? Somewhere you can mm-hmm. just Instagram mm-hmm. or you can take your pictures and not put no, the nigga in said, there anyway. Look, she said, fly me to Tulum, honey. <laughs> Stay your ass at home. 
I wouldn't fly. Yeah, she right, wanna go to be quiet on that because I might fly a bitch out for a first day. <laughs> like, a, I mean, we might listen. Shit. If I like you, bitch, we really, really <laughs> might go to Puerto Rico hey, on the first see, day. Like, you see, I didn't really respond yeah. to that when she said that. You gotta avoid that one. So Let me shut up. Women making these lists now. It's the bougie bitches y'all dating. Listen, here's the thing. Here's the thing. If I do that, it's not because. She wanted to go. It's because, bitch, I wanted to go anyway, and I just need somebody to go with me. Yeah. And we've also talked Hold about on, fucking. So what if you get there and she's just like, oh, no, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. <laughs> and and she'll suck fucking. at me. Then she can't get mad. And, well, first of all, we Hold already on. talked about fucking. Because if, she, if that happens and she can't get mad if she comes in the room and he got to join in there. We've already talked about fucking because we're not flying out without fucking. Okay, but I, I know niggas that do that. there and then she just says, she changed her mind? Talked about it, and she changed her mind. She's no, like, no. But that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. So if she changed her mind and she don't want to do it, they're not together, they're not in a relationship. So she can't get Absolutely mad if he cannot. go find something out there and Absolutely she come cannot. back to the room. Y'all are cannot. tripping. No. I, I, I mean, that's on you. So Cause number one, if you're not his, if you're not his woman, and you don't want to fuck but him, and y'all just blew her out for a I mean? first day. I'm still. I mean, mean, that's cool. You you guys still got a place to stay. I'm not gonna put you out. Yeah, he ain't putting her out. I'm gonna make sure you, you get home. You already hear that. That's well, her, that's on her. She you already hear that. She can watch for a little fuck. Like, <laughs> oh, you fucking for real. It like, could have been, been you. It could have been you. It could have been you. Not it could have been you. Watch his work though. Watch his workout for it. But no, I mean, and then join in because you gonna see this work and this shit coming. So you would. All right, so you would not want to get. All right, bro. <laughs> so you would not give him no pussy, but want him to not get no pussy neither. So you're not feeling him like that. That is selfish. Or I mean, let me. I'm a selfish person. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I get it. I get it. I might be respectful and go get the pussy elsewhere and not in the room. But there we go. Yeah, maybe. You notice know how? Go maybe. Get it in hey, the pool it, or something. it depends on how bad you piss me off. The funniest shit though. You notice how I said? Depends on how bad you piss me off. She can't get mad if he. I took myself completely out the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I took myself just completely. Shit that I would absolutely do. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I would absolutely. Not do saying shit. if I would or won't, but I took myself completely out. But I mean, that's better than him being a piece of shit. Because I've seen a lot of these clown ass niggas like, oh, now nah, you got to find your own flight yeah. back. Yeah, like, I'm gonna invited you here. You stay, good. You, yeah, make sure you, you, get you home. Your flight back. I already took the L on the money. I ain't gonna so, press yeah. you into nothing you don't want to do. Because more than likely, I probably got the got the got the last minute ticket without the refund, and I can't exchange it anyway. So I like, <laughs> so I took the L it. on the money. So ahead, I ain't girl. gonna. But I ain't a piece of shit. So yeah, nah. You still got the way home. You can still enjoy the rest of this. Uh, I might leave early. I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta leave early. Yeah. I might leave early. Damn. Damn. Like you enjoy the hotel for the rest <laughs> of the night. Yeah. I'm out. Like you got it for the next two days. It's on you. Yeah. Like let I mean, because of course, there's always that slight chance. We got and I'm always respectful, so let yeah. me know when you make it back to I mean, states. It's a slight chance she might. <laughs> let me know when you make yeah. it back. I want to make you make it back. It's a slight chance she might change her mind. Like my God, later on, like yeah. if y'all there for a week, like three days in, she might be like, ah, right, you know what, fuck it, I'm a. Facts. Okay. But then he done already went and got some pussy, so he don't, <laughs> he don't even care at that point. Facts. I actually, I left somebody in the hotel room once. Mm. Yeah, she what? paid for. She paid for the weekend and I left her there. Damn. Cause she didn't give you nothing. No, she was actually putting out. It was not good. I had some other shit going on back at the crib, like oh. that I had to leave for. <laughs> 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 and it was like That's so dirty. That's it was. It was dirty as a motherfucker. <laughs> like she paid for the but weekend. Yeah. She paid for the hotel for the weekend. I had some shit going on back at the crib. So at like <laughs> six o'clock in the morning I got up and I got dressed and I peeled out. Oh, and she hit me. She was like, "Where you at?" And I'm like, hey, "I had to go. <laughs> I'm, on the, no ro- I'm on the road. I'm on the road back to Virginia." Which, speaking of which, we got.